What is up guys, it is Audio Shiz here today and I'm going to be showing you a simple tutorial on the Novation Launchpad as you can see here and it's going to be involving the user 1 mode as you can see is already selected there so I'm going to be using some Daft Punk samples from their song Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger and also some drum samples so we're going to start with the first MIDI track here which I've already dragged a drum rack onto so we've got the drum rack in the bottom left here as you can see and this bottom left, it represents the bottom left, the 4x4 bottom left of this launch pad here. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go to my samples for my drum kit. I'm just going to drag them in. So, we're going to go find our kick. And you can see our warm kick. I like that one. So, I'm going to drag the warm kick to the bottom left there. So, now when I press this bottom left button of the launch pad, it plays that kick. Now, I'm going to carry on to add the snare, which I think I like that one there. So I'm going to add that to the right of my kick. Doesn't matter where you put it, of course. And now I can do that. And I'm just going to go get the other drums. So we're going to go our hi hat. Okay, so I've got four things there, and I can sort of do a small sort of drum loop though. Okay, now you may have noticed that if you've ever watched any videos of um, Novation Launchpad before, you may have noticed that the LEDs light up. <clears throat> so we're going to make this happen. So we're going to take the MIDI um, here from our drum rack. And if you don't have this input output sort of section, you need to go to view. And here is an, an in slash out option which you need to tick. So anyway, back to this. We need it out from the drum rack and to the launch pad and change monitor to in so now it lights up okay and the entire launch pad will light up wherever you press it so now we're going to move on to our third one which is going to be I'm going to rename it now it's going to be our metronome just to keep me in time when I start recording the samples so it only needs to be one bar long and I'm going to scroll up to C6. This, rep this represents where it's going to appear on my launch pad because it's going to be an LED metronome. So if I just do this, C6 is the note I start on, then I just go up one, up one, and up one. And I do MIDI 2, the launch pad. If I play that now, you can see at the top right of the launch pad, we have a small metronome going. And that will just keep repeating itself. So the next one, I want to make a bass line. So we're going to go to sounds here. I'm going to go to bass. I go for acid bass. The first one I come to, it'll suit this song, I think. So we've got our acid bass there. I'm going to double click here, make a clip, and make it four bars long, because that's how long my loop's going to be. So I just keep going until I reach number five. So then we've got four bars. There we go. And this last one, I'm going to make a small melody. So I'll just have a look for a new sound. I'm going to use that bright brass there. Not the best sound I could have used, but it's just for purposes of getting this tutorial done. So, I'm just going to drag that out to 5 bars as well, because that's going to be the same as the loop. And make sure the MIDI comes from the key rig 49, which I've also got here. If I just turn the tripod to have a look, it's got a simple MIDI keyboard there, which I'm going to be playing the bass line and the melody on. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna take the MIDI from Keyrig 49 on both of these. And as you can see, there we go, that's fine. And yeah, there we are. Now we also need to add our clip on the drum rack here and drag the open to four bars long. So if I just do that quickly. Five bars. One thing I forgot to do, let's go back to the drum rack, you can just double click at the top here. And I want to have my harder, better, faster, stronger samples on this bottom right 4x4 grid. So if I press um, if I press on this 4x4 grid here, I can see where it's lighting up on the drum rack. So it's on this small grid here. So I'm just going to click there. And now we've got our samples here. And I'm going to go to my harder, better, faster, stronger samples. Quickly get up the lyrics there. 
and I'm just going to think so it goes work it harder make it better do it faster makes us stronger more than ever hour after our work is never over so we got our samples there and I can just proceed to do it like this and I can press any one I want to so I've got those there now so I've got my drums here and I've got my samples here in this bottom 4x4 so what I want to do now is start off by adding my bass drum so I'm just going to keep this going I'm going to click on edit here change record quantization to quarter note so I want to start with my simple bass drum so what I'm going to do click play on the drum rack click the clip so I want to watch when the clip is ending click the small circle here just so that I want to record and the next time the line comes past I'm going to start playing my bass clip and okay so now that's playing in time it's quantized and it's playing it for me so that's going to keep looping okay so now I'm going to add my snare drum Now that's going. Uh, I think I'm going to add my Daft Punk samples the next time around. Now that's snapped to the grid as well. So now I'm going to go to edit. I record quantization, turn it to 16th note, and I'm going to add my hi hat, which I'm going to play a bit faster. So now we got a small loop going there. And I'm going to change my little button down here. Click on my acid base. And I need to choose when I start playing this carefully. I'll start playing that now. So now that clip's playing. In a second, I'm going to add the bass line. So now we've got the bass line going with it. And now I want to go to my bright base. I won't start recording it yet. I'll just see what I can come up with. Let's see. Now I might just go a bit higher up in the octave. Now I like what I've played there, so I'm going to press the little circle again. So now it's playing in the right time. I'm going to wait till it comes past at the end. And we've got a small loop going. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you want any of the snuffles, please drop a comment in the box and I'll start zipping them up. 
and uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Cheers.